The Junior League of Clearwater Dunedin has been putting on the Art Harvest Festival in our community center for over 50 years. This is a beautiful community event bringing out over 200 juried fine artists from all over the country and the world. I do copper plate etchings and how I do this process, I have a plate right here to show you. This is a finished plate. Now the image is burnt into the copper by hand. I start off with a blank piece of copper at the top here. I cover it with this wax layer. The wax layer stops it from etching. Now I come in with the hand drawn process with my X-Acto knife. Now I draw through the wax layer. Now wherever I've drawn, as you can see right there, that's the only thing that will etch. It's when I put it into a bath of acid. And I do it in stages to get different depths. So the longer it's in there, the darker and deeper the line will be. Less time, the more light the line will be. For example, her hair is the darkest piece. That's a four or five hour edge. And the little details in her face, those are 10 minutes. Now I ink up my plate using any color combination. And then I uh, get a tarleton cheesecloth, get wipe it, get all the ink in the lines. And then I put my paper on here. I crank it through my traditional printing press. And when I pull out my image, I have my artwork and it comes out mirror image. We've probably done Art Harvest. 30 some years. Uh, for, I think, yeah, the first year we did it was 1984, I think. It's a good hometown show to do, and it's actually our only Florida show we do anymore, so. But it's good for us. We love it. My specialty are pencil drawings, graphite pencil, and uh, I've attended this show since I started doing shows. I've been here 21 years in a row, and I love it. I'm always in a spot in the shade over here. Art Harvest is a great show, and the committee is unbelievable. All the girls work so hard all year long to prepare for this. My work is primarily natural stone, coral, artifacts, found objects, and I kind of call it the anti-bling because even though it's big and bold, it's very natural. I love every year that I come here. Um, I do encaustic arts, which is uh, a process of beeswax and resin from a fir tree and uh, I use a lot of repurposed materials. I take a lot of found objects and repurpose them and put the uh, encaustic mixture in with them. But this show has been wonderful. This community is great and i um, just excited to be here. I like how it's a small local show, but more importantly, the Junior League. As a young female artist, I think it's really important that they support local artists in Florida and um, empowering young women, such as myself and other women. So it's, I think it's a great thing they do here in the community.